So I came across this little go-kart here. Uh, it, it's actually a, um, a thing that snap one was selling back in the day for their 75th anniversary. And that's why it has this decal down here on the side of it. And um, it, the, the back part there, the, the bed and, and all that stuff was in pieces. And uh, it was just the, uh, the basic body of the go-kart and everything on there and the seat and all that stuff. Um, so brought it home and um, we're going to get to work on it. It's got a little three and a half horse Briggs and Stratton engine on it. And um, it seems like it should run. It just needs a carburetor cleaned out, I'm hoping. Um, you know, it has compression, all that good stuff. But you can see that it has these, these bicycle style wheels on here and the little skinny tires. And uh, the back ones, we got some new tubes we're going to put in there. But this is it. It's pretty simple. You got two pedals on there, one for the brake and one for the uh, the throttle. And this is all, all this stuff here is wood that's painted. But I just thought it was, uh, that was a pretty cool looking little thing, you know. Didn't want to pass it up. Got a pretty good deal on it, I believe. And it'll be something cool that we can take to tractor shows and that kind of stuff and um, just put around on it I you know I, I said it has a three and a half horse Briggs engine on it I was uh, definitely considering putting something a little bit bigger in there so we'll see and I, I really don't know if we're gonna keep the uh, this original style wood and and all that stuff on here I personally am thinking that we'll make it into like a little flatbed or something um, but, you know, we'll get it running first and then go from there. Now, under here, under this part, this is where you got your engine at. And you can see there it is. The old flathead Briggs and Stratton 5, or, um, sorry, not 5, but 3.5 horse uh, engine. And we're going to get to work here on the carburetor this evening and see if we can get this up and running. That's it. That's our little find there. And just to give you perspective on, on the size of this thing. In the background there, that is uh, one of my Super Cubs sitting there. That's one of the 22, uh, was it 2284s that I brought home. So that gives you an idea of how, how small this little thing is. Kind of reminds you of one of the old antique cars you ride at an amusement park or something, but... Uh, just a little bit smaller. You're definitely not getting two people in this baby. I think it might if we get it running and uh, it, it seems like it's got a little bit of uh, power. It doesn't need a whole lot, but if it does, uh, I'll probably put a little hitch on the back and make a little wagon we can tow around with it. You know, for some of the shows, be a nice little, nice little thing to cruise around and haul some parts and things like that at flea markets and tractor shows. So, all right, enough talking. Time to get to work. So here she is up and running. That vibrating you're hearing, that's coming from the, uh, the front there where the uh, frame's at for the windshield. This is going to the top one there to stabilize it. But needed the carburetor cleaned out. And actually the carburetor wasn't that dirty, but we discovered the big problem while we had it apart was that somebody had it apart and they never put the spring back in there for the diaphragm. So now this thing fires up on the first pull just about every time. We just took it out for a ride. We got the tubes in the back tires. Took it out for a little test drive. Um, definitely gonna need some work with the steering. I don't think it's uh, made to handle quite a load like me. But at any rate, it's up and running and I'm happy with that because that's even less time and money that I've got to sink into this thing to uh, get it out there and, and start to enjoy it. So we have a, a grand total of like $5.32 into the back tires for the tubes. And uh, I think it was like 10 bucks for all the stuff for the carburetor and a new spark plug.
so not too shabby. Now we do have to do some work to the uh, the wheel over here in the back. This is the wheel that does everything. This is the only one that breaks to uh, stop it when you're cruising along. And this is actually the only one that drives. And uh, it's just one of those plastic bike wheels. And it, it's actually uh, busted out around one of the screws, one of the one of the uh, screw holes in the uh, the hub that holds the wheel on is completely stripped out so only two of the three bolts are holding it on there and uh, we'll have to get that fixed up so we can take it out and drive it around a little bit more we have to do something to get some grease in that front end there's no grease circs there but um you know it, it does the job for what it is i mean this was actually made for small adults and kids and uh if it can haul my you know 230 240 pound uh fat ass around with uh, tools hanging out of my pockets and everything else, then I'm sure it'll work great for its intended purposes.